We're logged in as Alana Grant. We'll click in the search field and press enter to go to the global search page. In the sidebar, some of the out-of-the-box filters are listed. These are basically convenient one-click searches. For instance, we can click My Open Issues for a list of all issues assigned to Alana that aren't resolved. If we click Reported by Me, all of the issues from all projects that were reported by Alana Grant are returned. Now let's click Switch to JQL to see the actual query for this filter. Similarly, you can click the other filters and see their associated query. Next, we'll create a filter. Let's create a query that searches for all issues with the status of in progress and are assigned to the current user. We'll do this in basic search. The status is in progress and the assignee is current user. And now we're shown all the issues with the status of in progress that are assigned to the current user which in this case is Alana Grant. We see there are currently two issues that match this search criteria. To create the filter, click Save As at the top. We'll name this filter My In Progress and click Submit. Our filter is added to the sidebar in the Starred section, where it can be selected just like any of the other filters. Let's go back to our project and add another issue to the In Progress column. Now we can click the filter menu and select our My In Progress filter. The three issues that are in progress and assigned to Alana are returned. We can click the details link at the top and see that this filter is owned by Alana Grant, is visible only to Alana, and the filter has no subscriptions. We can also click view all filters at the bottom of the sidebar to see the My In Progress filter. If we click the More icon and select Edit, we can change the name of the filter, add a description, and also change the access, which means Alana can share this filter with other users. Let's click the filter to see the results again. We can edit the filter. First, let's switch to List View and view the JQL. Then we'll click a column header to sort the results. Notice the Order By clause is updated in the JQL. There's an indicator at the top of the screen that the filter has been edited, so we'll save our changes.